Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can put a box around text. I'm also going to show you the pros and cons of each one so that you can decide for yourself which one's the most appropriate one to use in your project. So I've just got some random text here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box around this paragraph here. So in order to do so, I'm just going to highlight the text. Then I'm going to go up to this section here and click on borders. Click on the drop down and select outside borders. And as you can see now, we've got a border around the text. If you want to adjust that border, you can click on the drop down, and go all the way down to the bottom to borders and shading. Inside this dialog box, you're given a number of options. You can put some more creative designs on your border here, or you can simply use dotted lines and dashes here, and you can change the colors here. You can also change the width of your line by using this drop down and simply selecting the thickness of your choice. So if I just choose another colour and click OK. And as you can see now, I've got a border around my text. If you decide you want your text to be highlighted in a colour, you can go up, you're on the Home tab here, you can go up and use this tab here to select a particular colour. Now what it will do, it will simply colour the text that you've highlighted. It won't colour the entire box. The second way you can put a box around a border is by using a text box. Go up to the Insert tab, go along the text box, click on the drop down and select Draw Text Box. Click and drag and then grab the text that you want. So I'm going to grab this paragraph, copy it, Command or Control C, click into your text box, paste, Control or Command V, and your text will be inside the text box. If you click off, you can see you have a border. Now, if you want to get rid of this text to enter your text box in the same place, simply highlight it and delete it, click on your text box, Make sure the cross cursor is showing and just drag it up. Now, as you can see, that text box is going over the top of the original text. So just go up to Shape Format, go along to Wrap Text, click on the drop down and select Top and Bottom. And there you'll see that the text will just move top and bottom of your text box. The advantages with having a text box is that you can adjust the size of it. So if you want your text to progress further into your margins, you can do so. And you can also move them back in line with your original text. Once again, if you go to shape format, you have the opportunity to fill your shape with a color. You also have the opportunity to change the color of your border. And you can also increase the size of this border. If you're on shape format, you can either double click and this format shape dialog box will appear here, or you can go to format pane here and the same dialog box will appear. In here, you will have fill and line. If you go to line, you can go down select the colour of your border and you can also select the width. Use the up and down arrows to increase or dis decrease the size of your border and then again you can adjust the top and bottom borders of your text box. The third way is to insert, go along to shapes and this will allow you to either select a rectangular box with sharp edges or a rounded rectangle. So if I click and drag, if I attempt to move this over the top of my text, you can see that it covers the text. Now with a text box, 
you can move it behind the text by using this icon here, send backwards. If I centre back, you can see nothing happens. So we have to find a way to get this text onto this area here. The way to do that is to go ahead again, insert text box, draw text box, click and drag, select your text, copy, paste, reduce the size of your text box, then as you drag you can see that the text box automatically has a white background and a black border. Click on the text, go up to shape fill, click no fill, go to shape outline, click no outline. Now this gives you the most versatile option because you can move the text around. So you can move the text anywhere you want to within the box and you can also change the shape of the box as well. Within the shape format, you can go up to shape format here and again you can click no fill or you can select a colour, you can go to the shape outline and again select a colour. Again by double clicking on here you've got the shape format and once again if you go to line and down to width you can increase the width of that border. The flexibility with the last option, despite the fact that it's a little bit more complicated, is that you really can manipulate the text and the shape of the box anywhere in your document. Once you're happy, you can actually make these two one object. So if you click on the text, hold the command or control key down, click on the shape, and then go up to group, make sure you're on shape format, click on group, and select group and then you have one complete element. So three ways to put a box around text in Word. I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.